What's going on, my Panda Nation? Welcome back. We are doing another Pokemon unboxing. Um, so I am going to be doing, as you guys can see on the bottom camera, it is going to be the, I think this was um, Crown Zenith. So I wanted this for the Zapdos card, um, and it was on sale at Target for pretty cheap at the time. It was on $15 uh, for, I think somebody messed up the price, but they have to honor it if they mess it up. So I mainly only wanted this set for, like I said, this Zapdos card, but you know, you know me. I love a good Crown Zenith unboxing. Um, I've pulled a lot of good things out of Crown Zenith. So I wanted this card. You guys can see there. I don't know if you guys can see it that well there. There you go. It focuses back in on me. It might take a second. But I wanted that Zapdos card so bad because I like the way it looked. I think it was a gorgeous card. I love the tins. I get to store my extra Pokemon cards inside of them. And we get not only one two, three, four, five packs of Crown Zenith to open. So, let's get right into it. I think these are also the same thing as the Obsidian Flames for the pulls. I think it's one to the front. I could be completely wrong. We're going to learn as we go through. Because I always forget these new sets and how they work and how they operate. Let's see, is it one? No, it's two. Maybe three. No, it's four. So it's fours at the front for Crown Zenith still. Okay, so ready? We got Steel Energy. All right, let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Also, tell me in the comment section, what is your favorite Pokemon? What is your favorite Pokemon movie? Oh, damn. We get a hit off the bat. Look at that. Straight with the full out Altaria. Let you guys see that up top, too, once it focuses in. Straight in with the fucking heat. Let's go. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's see if we can get another one. All right. But I don't know. I want your guys' opinion in the comment section also on this. How do you guys feel about the fact that we don't have Ash no more in the Pokemon uh, show? Because I was recently watching the one that's on Netflix. And I'm, I don't know. I feel like not having him around is going to be. A big change i know a lot of people are saying that you know sometimes it's good to have new characters and stuff like that but i don't know how i feel about that i don't think that us him taking him away was a smart idea for the pokemon franchise because not only are you taking ash away you're taking pikachu away you're taking team rocket away well jesse james meowth you know stuff like that and i feel like those are like the staple of pokemon Right? Like, or is that just me? Because I feel like, I mean, obviously Pokemon's not going to die. It's the same thing as Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, there's too big of a fan base for these things. But I just feel like it's not going to have the same effect. Maybe for the older crowd, but maybe the younger crowd doesn't really care that much. Could just be me. Also, look at that. We got our first artist. It's Bebe. Bebe. I'm not going to show it on the top camera. I'm going to show it on the low one because... These artist cards aren't really worth crazy amount. And on top of that, not really what I'm looking for. They're cool cards, but I don't like them that much. The only one I wanted as the artist card was the Nessa one. And I already got the Nessa um, on the last time that I opened Crown Zenith, which you guys were all there for. We opened tons of Crown Zenith before. So, all right, one, two, three, four to the front. All right, we're starting with a fire, uh, fighting energy this time. Let's go, let's go. Lunatone. Oh man, I loved using Lunatone back in um Pokemon the Gale of Darkness when I would take the tournament all the way to the top. Oh man, your Lunatone was a fucking tank. Alright, we're on the last card, by the way, guys. Last pack, I'm sorry, not last card, but obviously last card too, because it's gonna be our last chance to get a good card. But you know what though? It's a technically a win. For us so far because we got the Altaria full art and we have the Zapdos which was the only reason that I got it was for the Zapdos so let's see we're starting with an electric energy this time all right we got Shaman Luxio Sunkern Bidoof Coughing all right come on oh I see something oh all right we're gonna end it on a full art oh no a trainer full art 
That's a nice one. I like that one a lot. All right, I'm gonna show you guys up top. I think that that's a nice one. It's it's nice. It's nice. All right, so we technically only got three cards out of this set. One was already a promo card, so nothing crazy. So it was this one. So the Zapdos. We had gotten the Altaria. And then I'm going to say it's Sharon's Care is how you pronounce that. All three beautiful cards. If you guys were here for the last set on the Ascidian Flames, I pulled three cards also. So this seems to be our luck lately. It's just pulling three cards and three cards only. Um, I am going to be doing more Obsidian Flames and then hopefully Pokemon 151 pack um, when that comes out. But I'm going to do more Obsidian Flames. So I want to try and pull that Charizard, um, the gold one. Not the base one. The base one's cool. I like the gold card. So I'm going to see if I can get some more packs, um, do those. Take a look out for that on my TikTok channel too because I do single pack openings on my TikTok channel. But I will see you guys around next time. Thank you for all your support. Peace, guys.